Welcome back everybody to the Movie Buffer and tonight we're going to be discussing The Exorcist Believer. I would first like to think that demons have a hell of a lot more interest and in things to do than to go around and keep torturing the same family over and over again, especially a group of demons who claim to be part of the Legion, which includes the actual devil himself. Lucifer just seems like he has more important things to do, more important people to torture and to make them feel bad about being a horrible person. I don't know. Anyway, this is where we are. I can end this review right now and just say that this sucked. It just sucked. I don't know what it is about the second... Okay, I don't want to get too far. It sucked. Okay, but let's, let's, let's continue on anyway, you know, in case you want to know more. The Exorcist Believer is a 2023 American supernatural horror film directed by David Gordon Green who co-wrote the screenplay with Peter Sattler from a story by Scott Teams, Danny McBride, and Green himself. Why do we need so many people to screw in this broken light bulb? I have no idea. This is the sixth installment in the Exorcist franchise. It serves as a direct sequel to The Exorcist of 1973. The film stars Leslie Odom Jr., Lydia Jewett, Olivia O'Neill in her debut film, Jennifer Nettles, Norbert Leo Butts, and Anne Dowd. Ellen Bernstein and Linda Blair reprise their roles for literally two seconds, although Ellen was in it a little bit longer, but Linda came in at the very end and I blinked and almost missed her. Its plot follows a photographer, Tony, who must confront an evil when his daughter and her best friend are possessed. Okay. It starts out in Haiti. First of all, what the hell? What happened to um, the movie that number two of Exorcist that came out, you know, back in, what was it, 74, 78? I can't remember, but it sucked, and everybody's just trying to forget about it. Maybe this is a replacement for that? I don't know. <sighs> and that was called The Heretic, by the way, but anyway. The movie starts off in Haiti, Port-au-Prince, where a photographer, Tony, and his wife are. He's working, and she is out shopping. She's very, very pregnant, and she goes to the different shops and locations and stores to find something hmm, very interesting. She is pregnant and gets a blessing within the shop shop. Probably not a good idea in the middle of Haiti. So it's starting in an African country similar to the origins of where the demon originates from or enters the world. See Exorcist the Beginning, which is actually a very good movie, and I will be doing a review on that as well. There was an earthquake, as always seems to happen in Haiti, and she is hurt fatally. But but they are able to save the baby only. And then the movie begins fast forward 13 years later in Georgia, where one of our two young girls, Angela, are introduced. Our photographer, who is the dad of the little girl, is a single dad going through all of the things that single parents go through. So Angela meets up with her friend, Catherine, after school. They go off into the woods where they're not supposed to be, you know, as typical teenagers say they're going to be one place and then find out they're some, completely somewhere else. They go off into the woods to do some sort of seance or whatever. She's trying to get in touch with her mom. So that's kind of the, and that's, nothing is really clear or even linear of how or why these girls are together or whatever. And there are some other girls that were introduced that we never really hear from again. I don't know. It was just disjointed. So I'm trying to follow it as best as possible. The movie is not really clear on exactly how these demons from the original movie gets into them out there and gets the girls, but there it is. They're out there. So it's kind of like they go into some sort of rabbit hole. I don't know if you guys ever played The Sims, but you know, in The Sims, your player goes into a rabbit hole and comes out a couple of seconds later and whole time has passed. This is basically what happens in this movie. These girls go into the woods, something happens, okay? Something happens to them. They come back out and they're all weird and different. So the movie first begins with a pretty nice flow, but once the girls come back from the woods, they're all possessed and the movie takes a steep 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 decline into jump scares and cheesy demonic faces even the exorcism itself was silly and a mishmash of pure absurdity okay for the review part 
<laughs> if you haven't already noticed, spoiler alert, it sucked. Was this movie any good? Well, when I was watching this, I was at the 55 minute mark and I was really not that interested in the movie. So my review is not that good. That starts off as most horror stories start off as interesting about the family. You're learning about the people and what's going on. It's, you know, that was always interesting. And then once the possession happened, it just became ridiculous. It's just typical horror porn crap. But as they get start getting into the meat of the dialogue and climaxes of the movie is just a bunch of jump scares, like I said. Typical horror exorcist type of crap. And I'm not talking about the original one exorcist. I'm talking about the exorcist that has bond into has spawned into many different movies that are not part of the main franchise. Or maybe it is, but it sucks, so it, no one cares. Just movies about exorcists, which is horror, jump scares. And I'm not interested in this movie. I'm not interested in the characters outside of the beginning. Um, I'm not interested in the girls. I don't know that much about them. Um, and I don't care, really. I'm not invested in any of these characters. I was invested in the wife. I was invested in the husband, and, you know, and them as a couple because that's what they spent most of the beginning on, which they really didn't have to show that at all. They could have just said that in a dialogue or something and focused in on the girl herself, or two girls. Um, so I wasn't really interested in the characters really much at all. Uh, the Exorcist also spawned into a TV series that was also crap. It started off mm, kind of okay, but then it, it became crap as well. The only movies that are any value in this franchise is of course the first one and then skipping over the the immediate movies after The Exorcist, one um, called The Heretic, and then now this is supposed to be also a direct sequel to um, The Exorcist, but I don't even, I don't even get it. So I would say watch The Exorcist 1, as I said in, a, in my previous two reviews of The Exorcist 1, and then skipping this second one, and then skipping this second one as well. I don't even recommend you watch it if you want for just some morbid curiosity. But go to Exorcist 3, which was excellent. And then I did enjoy Exorcist The Beginning. So those three were actually really good. These suck ass. And I, I really can't think of a better word than suck. I keep saying it over and over again. But it really... It really wasn't good. I just can't, and I don't even understand how they keep producing these movies that are just absolute crap. And this is a very interesting topic, especially being that The Exorcist was one of the first movies who really delved into exorcism on those levels. And you would think they want to keep the integrity of the movie and of the story and of the of all of that, but they they really don't. But like I said, watch those three and just forget that the other ones even exist. So, have you seen the new 2023 movie of The Exorcist called The Believer? And that was another thing. The Believer? Where did that come from? You know, the title has nothing to do... Who? No one is really a believer. There was a lot of people, characters in the movie, who didn't even believe in exorcism, didn't believe in anything. There was maybe one or two... But it was so discombobulated that you really didn't get that core of what was actually trying to be said in this movie, except maybe there were the idea that there were some people who thought exorcism and God and all this stuff, ghosts, demons, were just a bunch of stupid hooey and his crap, and others who did actually believe in it. But, but you don't even really get a sense of that in the, in the storyline. You don't get a sense of anything in the storyline. Like I said, the best part of the movie was the beginning when they were in Haiti. And then when they came back, it was basically crap from then on. So they had to just stayed in Haiti and, you know, explored who these people were and maybe explored the sites and the, maybe some background of demons and got into voodoo and hoodoo and uh, the Santa Maria and all those types of, you know, Catholic type of religions. Maybe that would have been interesting, but it wasn't. They didn't do that. So uh, anyway, so please tell me what you thought of it. Did you think it was worthy of the franchise? Which movie did you feel was the best of the Exorcist movies or even the Exorcist TV series? What did you feel about watching this? I, I'm sorry, I couldn't, this is very hard to even do a review on because it sucked so bad that I, I really was just angry through most of it and just I was doing other things while I was watching this, but I still was able to look up and go, oh, okay, because nothing was happening in it. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. 
please remember to subscribe, comment, because this does really help out this channel and it helps out the algorithm, which is the only horror. I wish I could exercise this algorithm of YouTube. But anyway, and I want to know what you have to say. I really want to hear your thoughts. I read every comment and I respond to those that deserve the response or I like or heart it because I feel it's important that I thank you as much as possible for your participation in my reviews. So guys, go back and watch my other reviews for Exorcist 1 and Exorcist 3 and I am going to do a review on Exorcist The Beginning because I thought that was a really good movie as well. So guys, thanks so much for watching and peace. <laughs> Two fingers.